The 62-year-old TV presenter contracted a near-fatal virus after playing with the wounded street dogs in Delhi amid filming for the ITV series. But claims the worrying ordeal was his own fault after he was warned to keep off the streets in India's capital but did the opposite dot he said. They said to me. Keep off the streets, it's Delhi. But I was lying in the gutter with these two gorgeous little puppies. I'm feeding them by hand and flicking maggots out of a rat bite. And of course I must have touched my mouth or my face, you forget. When you work with animals. You're not squeamish. At 5 o'clock in the morning I'm still vomiting. 10 o'clock at night, I'm still at it. They called the doctor and he said you're going in because you're so dehydrated. Paul revealed that he has little memory about going to the hospital due to having a high temperature. But remembers being told he was heading for renal failure, after his white blood cells were going berserk. The blind date. Host was kept in hospital overnight and was pumped full of saline and antibiotics. He told the mirror, I felt delirious. They wanted to keep me in for a couple more days. But I said I'm off apostrophe. Paul threw himself straight back into work despite feeling a bit doddery at first, and claimed he did not feel scared during his near death experience. Frankie Dettori, horse racing jockey, calls me Moggy. Because I've got nine lives, he told the publication. As well as Paul's terrifying health scare. The mirror states that he also handled a sick puppy with rabies, which left the crew faced with a fear of a tapeworm infestation prompting them to go to hospital for blood tests. It's easy to get tapeworms from dogs, Paul quipped. But every time you go to the loo, to wonder if you've got a tapeworm for two weeks, it's too much. Thank goodness none of us had it in the end. Paul admitted he broke down during filming after seeing some of the heartbreaking conditions the street dogs were in. He said, I've broken down a couple of times seeing them. I just want to get hold of them, clean them up and get them well. I wanted to take a dog home from India. He was a big black Labrador. Nearly blind, ancient and crippled with arthritis. Paul's eventful trip hasn't put him off visiting the country again. Despite the mishaps along the way. It doesn't faze me at all to go back, Paul spilled. India is just alive. It's full on. With shocking pollution and noise, but it's unlike anywhere I've ever been before despite his interests in returning to the country. The dog lover admitted his family including his husband Andre Portasio were not keen on him returning to India. I didn't even tell them about being ill while I was there, he divulged. I told them afterwards. I'm a great believer in the British stiff upper lip. For the love of dogs, India will